Hi everyone, I'm inland today. I'm gonna to go see if we can find some fossils at a site I saw on Google Earth. Got about two miles to go, three kilometers. But in the meantime, I found something. I saw this concretion looking rock over here and picked it up and it's a steinkern. That's uh, one half of a bivalve, just the inner mold of the fossil. There's no shell left. That's a big one. That's pretty cool. At least we know we're in a fossil area. To see, that's where the hinge was over there. That's a good sign for other fossils. I'll just have a look through this area. Yeah, it's quite a rocky area. There's a tiny bit of petrified wood down there. See the, the lines on it. That's awesome. I feel like I haven't found petrified wood in ages. <laughs> awesome. I'm still on my way to that area. I'm only about half a kilometer. What's that? Half a kilometer, 500 meters. A third of a mile, I think, <laughs> away, so not far away at all. See if we can get there with some daylight left. I think I see something big over there and it could be a fossil just because it's very round and very symmetrical. Have a look, see if you can see it. Then we'll go take a closer look. Let's go see. <laughs> it's looking promising. It's big. <laughs> ah yes, I can see bone texture. Have a look at that vertebra. <laughs> that is enormous. I think that's my biggest vertebra ever. <laughs> you can definitely see the bone structure on there. It's it's you know it's missing a few of the processes. Well, actually all the processes, but yeah, the vertebra body's there. This round <laughs> shape. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Me zoom in on that, that bone surface. Have a look at that bone surface there, it's beautiful. Well, I'm really, really happy with that, but that's a big bone to carry back. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I mean, this must be from a whale, just given the size of it. That's enormous. And of course I find it on one of the days where I'm like, kilometers and kilometers from the car. <laughs> but I mean, that's worth carrying back, definitely. Gonna get it wrapped up nice and tight into the bag. <laughs> Might actually fetch it on the way back. I just found this as I was walking across there, right in front of the camera I think actually. This 
<laughs> is an oyster shell, but it's massively thick. Like it's it's a big, really big oyster shell. <laughs> Don't know if you can see, but it's that's the top of it. I think there might be two or three in there, but I think that's how thick it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's enormous. Didn't find anything else on that side, but <laughs> this is a cool oyster shell. I don't know if it's showing up well on the screen there, but there's another piece of petrified wood. Just under that actual piece of wood. <laughs> Just happened to see that little bit of graining up the top there. Yeah, that's definitely wood. <laughs> Not very big. You can see the the texture, the grain there of the wood. <laughs> awesome. I'm on my way back to the car, not too far to go. So it's a nice little find there towards the end of the hunt. <laughs> this whale vertebra is so heavy. <laughs> Yeah, the finds from today actually not a bad day for exploring a new area let's take a look at them here are the two bits of petrified wood i found today very similar looking but this one's got some really good grains on it beautiful section over there might be worth just cutting it through that edge and polishing it because there's some really nice growth rings there This one as well. I'm not sure if it's going to have any agatized sections in the middle, but they, this one I think, if you look here at this dark area, there might be something going on inside there. That's quite a quite an old oyster in there. I think there's one one up top here, then one at the bottom, and then one on the side at least. Probably a few in the back as well. So. Just a cluster of oysters. Still have the rock in there. I didn't see anything else in here. I was hoping maybe there was a shark tooth or something trapped in there, but I didn't see anything. Still very cool to find though. And then this enormous vertebra, which I assume is a whale vertebra. You can see this is where the one process was coming off and that's broken off. Here's the other one then I assume this is where the neural arch was so the spinal column would have gone through here give you an idea of what I'm talking about let me show you the plesiosaur vertebra this is my plesiosaur vertebra so what we're looking at over here is just mainly this section down here it's missing the processes and it's also missing here yeah, where the, the actual uh, spinal column would go through so this neural arch area so it's missing all that we're just looking at the vertebra body over here enormous though it's got some really beautiful bone texture here you can see it's filled in with it's almost like got an agate infill some chalcedony or some crystal 
Thanks so much everyone for joining me today. It's always fun being in a new area. You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you find giant vertebrae. <laughs> Last week I was on the Rockhound podcast and we talked for about three hours about fossils and all sorts of other rocks. So go check that out if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description. I'm just about done prepping um, a few of my other bone clusters. So if you don't want to see a spoiler, don't look now. But here's one of the, the bone clusters I've been working on some dolphin vertebra. I'm just about done with that. I just need to smooth out the rock, do a bit of landscaping and then that video should be done. So keep an eye out for a few prep videos coming your way. We'll stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next hunt.